Hey guys, welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer Kickstarter card game review. Today's game we have up on the table is a 2-4 to four player game by Axis Mundi called Daimyo's Fall. This game features samurais and ninjas in a deck builder of sorts. In the game, each player starts with a deck of 10 cards. You'll get three of the basic samurai guys, three of the basic ninja guys, and four of the money cards. After that, you'll start with a random hero from the hero pile. We'll give this person this one, and this person this one. And we'll take a more in-depth look at that now. Okay guys, here's the setup for Daimyo's Fall. Each player is going to get a set of 10 cards for their deck, as well as a hero, and there's tons of different heroes. You're also going to have the regalia area over here, the ninja treasure and the samurai treasure, the ninja deck and the samurai deck, as well as your hero stack here. You're going to put up four of each of the types, the samurai and the ninja, as well as a discarded card here that you can actually purchase during the game. As well as here you're going to place up on the top card of the hero deck. Over here you're going to have some additional tokens and stuff like that you're going to need throughout the game. But for that, that's entirely the way you set the game up. During a player's turn, the first thing they do is discard cards from their hand. After that, they draw up to five. You can discard any cards you want or keep any cards you want, and that's entirely up to you. Then you go into the main phase of your turn, where you're going to be playing cards, buying and selling cards, and trying to score points. You score points by completing the loot conditions on your heroes. Alright, so here we have a ninja hero. You can tell it's a ninja by the fact that it's purple. The samurais are orange, as you can see from the other card, the samurai cards up here. On each hero, they'll have a cost up here, which is a cost, a sell value. It also doubles as their power in combat. They'll have uh, an amount of victory points in this corner, and down in this corner they'll have their pedal cost. There's 50 pedals in the game, and any time something with pedals on it's revealed, you remove pedals from the pool. And once that pool is gone, the game ends. They also have their loot conditions, which are how you get the treasures which have both the pedals and more victory points on them. Once you're done with your heroes, you'll start looking at your cards. They'll have several things on them. They'll have draw cards, gain money, play other cards, and a trade value. If they don't have something, it'll say plus zero, and if they have a number, it'll be plus one, two, or three. I've seen as high as plus three on certain cards. They also have an ability in the upper part. You can only play that ability if you have an active hero of the matching type. So for these two, you would need a samurai. For one of the purple cards, you would need a ninja. Okay, so now that you've drawn your cards from your deck, you're going to go ahead and take a look at your hand. And your hand's going to have different cards like this one here. This one's just a single currency, and it doesn't cost anything to play this card, and you can play as many of them as you want. The more you play, the more currency you're going to have to buy cards down on the field. You're also going to have cards like this one here, which is Tai Masamune, which will let you draw um, an extra card this turn. And you're also going to realize that you can only play one card per turn unless you can combo with other cards. Here is the, uh, this one's a ninja card, and if you don't have a ninja hero, you can only use the bottom effect, you can't use the top effect. Whereas if you did have a ninja hero, you could use both effects. Once you go ahead and pick a card from the field, what do you do? You place it on the deck, or you place it in your, in your discard pile? It goes to the discard pile, as well as anything else you acquire except for heroes, which the heroes go to their own little area, and you can have three heroes during the game, so you can kind of switch up your heroes. You can also pick up cards from the discard pile as well. What's the cost for this one? Is it just simply the same? It's the same as the regular cost for the cards, but you can only pick up the card that's on top of those discard piles. And after that, you would end your turn and pass it to the next player. Correct. Okay, so Daimyo's Fall. Now, there's a couple things I want to talk about before we get into the review. First off... Well, there's one thing we didn't really cover, which is trade. There's a fourth value on the cards that is their trade points. For one trade point you can trade one of your treasures for another treasure of the same type. For two points you can trade for an opposite type so you could trade like a samurai for a ninja for two points. Or you could pay three points and trade uh, one of your regular treasures for a regalia. The regalias are the super big powerful heavy point treasures and are kind of hard to acquire most of the time. Also, during a round, after everybody's taken their turn, there's a first player person. And that person is able to take two cards from either the samurai or ninja area in any di 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 distinction they'd like. So two ninjas or two samurais or one of each. Discard them and then replace them from the top of the deck. And that's what signals the next player's turn. There's also the fact that you're going to battle in this game sometimes. There's some battling that occurs. As well as when you play certain cards, like ninjas and samurais, depending on which ones they are, they, leave, they stay on the field and you can exhaust them to do certain abilities. 
All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the game. First of all, theming. What do you think? Oh, it has a great theme. I love the anime feel of this, and it feels like you're the samurais are doing samurai-type things, and the ninjas are being sneaky, like ninjas are supposed to. No, yeah, definitely. I definitely like the option, too, you have. And you can have that leader, but you can also have a different leader, too. You can switch your leaders out, and depending on what leader you have is how your deck's going to function. So if it's really samurai-thick, then you're going to want to stick with a samurai leader, or ninja-thick, same thing. However, maybe you got a bit of both, and you want to switch them back and forth to determine what cards are going to do what. So it's a nice, nice little addition to a deck builder that I have yet to see. In fact, there's a lot of little things in this game that I have yet to see. Let's talk about the gameplay. Well, first of all, having the different options. Usually it's just one big thing for a deck builder. You can choose anything you want. But in this, you actually just have those two choices, right? But realistically, you have one at a certain time or another at a certain time, depending on your leader. Now, you could choose to go for a samurai, even though you had a ninja leader, of course. But you can do what's best for you. And I like that feel of the game. What do you think? Um, it definitely creates more decisions on what you have, what cards you're playing from your hand based on optimal abilities type thing. And you might have your ninja leader out, but have a really good samurai card that still combos even without its ability. Yeah, I know. It's wonderful. I, I also like the treasures you can get, too, and how they're added to your deck. That's something nice and new as well. And the regalia cards are cool. Now, some of them are like, ooh, do I want to play this card? I don't, I don't know. It, it's good, but, you know, it could it could hurt me later on. So though that's nice, nice addition, too. The artwork, the presentation of the artwork is, for me, phenomenal. I love manga. I love anime. I, li I like that stuff. And if you like anime stuff, you're going to definitely like this game as well. The art is fantastic try and pop up some of it over here so you can see the wonderful art in this game what do you think i mean wonderful for me I personally the like art it. is very good um we've had some discussion with a couple people where a few things were a bit iffy but i don't agree with that um all of this is heavily anime themed it some of it might be a little bit on the mature Risque side or whatever yeah but realistically if you're an anime lover, you're going to see the bounce and boobies, all right? Let's just be realistic here, okay? They got it in here, but it's not too... It's it's not bad. It's not. It's what you'd see on a 13-plus kids show. And I think it does really well with the theming of, like... I don't know, I, I, I felt like it was, like, Samurai X kind of feel to it. But it's all, like, women-style samurai fighters and stuff. And yeah. there's some badass women in this game, all right? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, yeah, wonderful, wonderful artwork. The gameplay is great. Replayability is definitely there. You can play this game as many times as you'd like, and it's always going to be different. There's so many cards in both of these decks to go through, and there's so many different heroes. There's got They've got some additional uh, Kickstarter heroes going on, I'm pretty sure, as well as there's so many different types of treasures. I mean, if you like a deck builder, this is going to be one, one nice thick one without having to purchase a bunch of extra uh, expansions and stuff. Yeah, it's quite nice on the replayability and the fact that um, you can choose the heroes that you want to play. You want to play the samurai team, you're playing the samurai team this game. You're playing ninjas, you're playing the ninjas this game. Or you can mix them. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game. I, I definitely am going to give it my stamp of approval because I think this game is definitely a, a hit out of the park. I really, really enjoy this game and I think you guys will too. What about you? I agree with that statement completely. Alright, if you like this video, please check out our website. We have a ton more content and a bunch of giveaways and stuff. We have a big giveaway going on. It's the reviewers giveaway. That's right. A bunch of uh, reviewers are giving stuff away. And that's unfilteredgamer.com or our YouTube site of the same name. Yep, as well as check out the rest of our content here on YouTube. Like, subscribe, and comment. That all helps. We really appreciate it. Don't forget to go ahead and check out our affiliates over here somewhere. We've got Devatos Gaming, we've got everythingboardgames.com, and The Giveaway Geek. Just getting lots of affiliates here. All right, guys, that's it for this game. A wonderful, wonderful deck builder with a huge anime theme. If you're an anime lover, definitely you're gonna check it out. Go ahead and check out the description below. Description below. All right, guys, that's it for this one, and we look forward to seeing see you next time. time.